This is a short and informal uh, demonstration of how to use the Archimedes Palimpsest Digital Viewer. And first you need to go to www.digitalpalimpsest.org. And I found it best to use either Safari or Firefox as a browser. Uh, this is the work of the Maryland Institute for Technology in the Humanities and particularly of Doug Reeside, J. Grant Dickey and Beth Cavernon. And you can see here that you can browse by author and work or browse by prayer book folio or browse by undertext folio. I'm going to browse by author and work and by double clicking on that. And there we go. Uh, you see the authors and I'm going to choose Archimedes of course. And then I'm going to go to uh, the method. And so here we are. Um, and uh, I uh, have all the folios of the method in their correct order, if I click on here. And uh, they're in their Archimedes order. And here you have the Eucologi on foliation. So let me go to folio 46V to 43R, which is folio 15V of Codex C. And there we have it. And I can move the image around like this. I can also open this window a bit further so I can move that over there. And on a bigger window, I could move it down. Uh, you're looking here at a color image of the uh, Archimedes palimpsest, but we took uh, many images in many different wave bands and we processed some of them and the raw and processed data is all stacked here in this data cube. All the layers are on at the moment but I can turn the color off which will reveal the pseudo color image and if I turn that off you get the Sharpie and if I turn that off you get the UV and so on all the way down now through the uh, data cube from infrared to ultraviolet I'm just going to turn them back on. All these images are perfectly registered and this means that you can play with their opacity to bring out uh, different combinations of images. So if I turn the color off, for example, uh, and I turn the pseudo off, for example, and I want to play on the, a bit of Sharpie and a bit of UV, I can reduce the opacity of a layer. So if I reduce the opacity of the Sharpie, the UV will begin to come through. And if I, and if I turn off the UV, um, the uh, other layers will come through. And if I increase the Sharpie, you can see how you can get any number of combinations. Uh, I'm just going to put this all back up to 10 and turn them on. Um, the other thing you can do is you can change the order of the layers. So let's just say you want to play with a combination of Sharpie on top and pseudo below. You can go to this hand here and move it up. So there goes the Sharpie to the top and there goes the pseudo underneath it. And again, I just change the opacity. And of course you need to uh, zoom in to uh, really look at individual bits of text so uh, that's what I'm doing and the, the, the computer's doing a lot of work so um, it's taking some time to do this but uh, you get the idea and if I reduce the opacity here I can ring out the color and play around with the layers so I'm hoping that this will be an excellent thing for uh, scholars and the interested public to transcribe and um, just do, do transcriptions from and uh, and I hope that I hope that it's helpful um, good luck and thank you very much